to Tech Showdown. My name is Kevin. This is my co-host Teddy and today I'm doing something that uh, a lot of you guys have been asking for. It's an old versus new showdown. So the old is going to be the AMD R9 290. This here is the Sapphire Tri-X. And the new is going to be the MSI Gaming X GTX 1060 here. So this one will be uh, quite interesting because a lot of people uh, will be, you know, maybe people that own 290s will maybe be looking at it and think, hmm, is it worth me upgrading to a 1060 or not? And that's basically what this video is going to be addressing since we know it's sort of unfair to uh, compare them directly since this is quite a bit older than the much newer 1060. Now, super quickly, I just want to tell you guys, if you haven't watched already, uh, check out the Tech Lounge. It's a new weekly uh, live show that uh, myself and Brian from Tech City are doing. It's really, really good. It's hosted over on his channel. I'll leave the uh, a link in the description to our last one. We had Wendell, uh, formerly from Tech Syndicate on. It was just a great time, and I think you guys would really enjoy it. Uh, so definitely check the description. I'll leave the uh, link there for you guys to go and check that out. Now let's get into today's showdown and first we'll talk about the GPUs and we'll start out with the 290 here. So if you don't remember back, the 290 has the 28 nanometer Hawaii GPU, which of course I would remember since I did so many 290 showdowns. And the uh, GTX 1060 features the 16 nanometer uh, Pascal GPU. So that means you're getting 2816 stream processors over on the 290 and 1280 CUDA cores on the GTX 1060. Now as far as clock speeds go, the highest clock speed of the 290, it doesn't have a boost mode or anything, so that's just a thousand megahertz is what it's rated at, or one gigahertz. The uh, 9, uh, 1060 on the other hand does have a GPU boost 3.0 so that will boost up higher than the rated speeds and this one in its OC mode went all the way up to 1999 MHz so let's just round up and say 2000 MHz so a full 1000 MHz jump up from the 290 there. Now let's talk about TDPs then. So 300 watt TDP over on the 290 and a 120 watt TDP on the 1060. So we see a you know, pretty massive discrepancy there to say the least. And uh, memory wise, so you're getting four gigabytes of GDDR5 memory at 5,200 megahertz on a 512 bit bus over on the R9 290. Whereas on the 1060, this one's a six gig model, so it's six gigabytes of GDDR5 memory at 8,000 megahertz on a 192 bit bus. What we can basically tell from that, much higher memory speeds over on the 1060, but the bus width is quite a bit uh, less than the very wide 512 bit bus on the uh, R9 290. It was very notable when it first came out. So yeah, that's quite interesting and that will play into it a bit more uh, as we get to the benchmarks when we go up through the resolutions as you guys will see. Now let's talk about the coolers and I've got the 1060 in hand so we may as well talk about this. So this is the Gaming uh, X model featuring the Twin Frozer cooler which has been around a very very long time. We see it's really nice as their Torx fans, does a pretty good job, big aluminium heat sinks underneath it there, a nice back plate and a uh, MSI logo on the side lights up and uh, yeah it's just a nice cooler, quite a, quite a big one but uh, yeah pretty good card. Now let's talk about the 290, the Sapphire Triax. So when I did all my 290 showdowns I told you guys that I thought this one was about the third best 290 you could get uh, behind the Gigabyte Windforce and the uh, oh, what was it? The Vapor X. That's right. How could I forget? The uh, Sapphire Vapor X uh, R9 290, which I thought was the uh, best one. But yeah, this one still does a good job. Triple fan design. Very, very long card. There's over 300 millimeters long. Uh, big aluminium heat sinks and huge uh, thick copper heat pipes there. So yeah, this did a very, very good job, and uh, I really liked it back when I did the testing on it two years ago, and I still think it's a very decent cooler. 
So with all that being said, let's jump into the benchmark. So this is my standard lot, which I've made as fair as possible. Some NVIDIA, like optimized slash developed games. Uh, some AMD, it's all intermixed, synthetics and actual games and DirectX 11 and DirectX 12 testing. So this is about as fair as I could probably possibly get it. So let's jump in and see how these two graphics cards perform. And we're back so very interesting uh, benchmarks there a lot closer in some of them than I thought but this is something I was kind of expecting and what I alluded to earlier that the 290 would catch up in the higher resolutions and it definitely did I think a lot of that is due to just the enormous bus width of the uh, R9 290 with a 512 bit bus compared to the 192 bit bus of the uh, 1060 even though it has more memory so yeah um, that's a factor there's obviously going to be more factors than just that also interesting in the DirectX 12 benchmark especially uh, Deus Ex that really brought them closer together also so that was quite interesting however uh, it's still a win for the 1060 there's no two ways about it it won on more of the benchmarks especially at 1080p it really did pull ahead then and uh, it does a very good job. So yeah, a win in the benchmarks for the 1060, but it's probably a lot closer than a lot of you guys were thinking, especially at the higher resolutions. Now let's talk about temperatures then, because performances and everything, how do they do temperature wise? So yeah, you guys can probably guess which one did better in terms of temperatures. Um, of course, it's gonna be the 1060, much more efficient GPU. Now it has to be said, that this 1060 uh, features a very, very good cooler. This uh, Twin Frozen cooler is absolutely fantastic. However, the Tri-X cooler over on the 290 is also very good too. But uh, yeah, still a win for the uh, 1060, but I'll show you guys what they did. It actually was a little bit closer than you might think. So this was done during the Unigen Valley benchmark on the Extreme HD preset. The Tri-X R9 290 got, uh, went up to 73 degrees Celsius at 40% fan speed and the Gaming X GTX 1060 went up to 64 degrees Celsius at 34% fan speed. So yeah, good win there for the 1060. Nobody will be surprised, but uh, the 290 still does a pretty good job and if you guys can cast your minds back to like two years ago when I started this channel and I started doing a lot of the uh, 290 testing which really uh, helped launch my channel 
you'll remember that the reference R9290 used to go up to 95 degrees Celsius very, very quickly. And uh, it was a, this Hawaii chip is very hot running, very, very hot chip. So the Tri-X cooler does a very good job when you take that into consideration. Now let's talk about noise then. How about noise? Are they noisy or not? So uh, yeah, both of them actually do pretty good job. It's quite surprising actually. Um, a lot of people associate 290s with uh, high noise, but the Tri-X here does a very, very good job. However, uh, it's still a win for the 1060 again. This Tri-X does not feature any fan stop technology. Um, well, out of the box anyways. So that means the fans will always be going and they go down to a minimum of 20%. But uh, yeah, it's just a slightly louder card. But it's definitely not loud, I'll put it that way. But the um, 1060 definitely wins in terms of noise. It was, uh, it's just completely quiet, you know, when you're just doing normal things, browsing the web and all that. And uh, in gaming, it's also very, very quiet. So a good win there for the Gaming X 1060. However, like always, I'll let you guys judge for yourself. So let's do the 1060 first and then the 290 afterwards. And these were taken during the Unigen Valley benchmark. So yeah, as you guys can see, the 1060 wins, but uh, neither of them are loud. They're they're very, very good um, in terms of uh, noise, so you shouldn't be having problems with either of them, although it's not like you're going to be buying a Tri-X 290. Or maybe you're on the, you know, second-hand, the used graphics card market, so maybe it will be applicable to you. But uh, yeah, that should give you an idea. Which brings us now to the conclusion, and let's talk about average FPS then. So if we add all the benchmarks together, we see that the R9-290 gets an average FPS of 43.8. And the 1060 gets an average FPS of 48.4, which means it's 4.6 FPS higher. Now that's not a lot, and that's generally because the 1440p and 4K benchmarks especially brought them much, much closer together. However, just looking at the 1080p benchmarks, you do see there is quite a bit more of a discrepancy there in favor of the 1060. So that makes it a bit easier for me to round out this review. So I will say this, if you are a 290 owner, and this would go for 290X owners as well, because the 290X is a bit better, and it would also probably go for 390 owners too. Uh, if you're looking to upgrade and you're just running a 1080p monitor, I would say that there is probably a little bit of a reason to upgrade to the 1060, but it's just not worth it. Honestly, I just do not feel like the 1060 is uh, worth it to be up to upgrade to, Ex and especially so if you're a person running a 1440p or 4K display. However, in saying that, uh, the 1070 on the other hand would be an excellent, excellent upgrade. So if you're a 290 owner out there, and I know there's a lot of you guys out there because, well, I just know that my 290 videos did so well and uh, at the time, and uh, it's a very popular graphics card and still is, a lot of people still running it. Uh, I would say go towards the GTX 1070 if you're looking for an upgrade. That will give you about, it works out to be around like a 40% performance increase um, at 1080p. On a 1070, so definitely if you're a 1080p gamer, um, go for the 1070. But that also remains consistent up through uh, the resolutions. Unlike the 1060, um, it's not 40% all the way through the resolutions, but it's still a good performance gain up through them. So yeah, that's how I would put it. 290 owners out there, 290x owners out there, looking for an upgrade, and uh, you don't want to wait for Vega. You just want something right now. Head towards the uh, GTX 1070 because I think that would be your best bet and that would be a really solid upgrade coming from a 290 or a 290X. 
Now I thank you all for watching this video. Uh, also check out, I've uh, redone my Patreon, uh, just you know, brought it up to speed, updated it, made it all better and stuff like that. Um, so if you're interested in supporting the channel, because as you guys know, I'm very fair, very balanced. Um, I'm always just doing things for you. Def I'm not going to sell out ever, I promise you that. I will never sell out. So uh, it's good to, to be supported by you guys, and that's what I want it to be going forward. So set a very low limit. It's only the maximum it goes up to is $99 a month. That's you know as much as I would uh, really need that to be happy. That would be very good to help sustain me. Um, so very low amount. But yeah, check that out if you want to support me. It would, be, it would be absolutely fantastic. Otherwise, you can always just smash that like button and subscribe to my channel. And as always, I'll see you guys next time.